Datadog is an observability platform that provides full visibility across your organization. So we span end to end from your infrastructure and your network to your applications and services all the way to your end user. And as you know, as like SQL Server admins, a lot of these will come into place. So network's important, your infrastructure is obviously important. And what your end users are doing, sort of that like white box versus black box monitoring is also very important important. So this enables everyone, that's ops developers, and even parts of your business to have a shared understanding of your systems and the ability to immediately resolve problems as they arise. All right. So just in terms of database, so like modern software applications are incredibly complex and the needs for your databases are also coming from all angles. You'll have multi-tiered architectures with dozens of technologies spread over hundreds or thousands of compute units. And on top of that, development teams are deploying updates more frequently than ever to get in front of uh, to get updates in front of customers and without a single source of truth to understand your environment from all angles. Teams can't reliably detect and troubleshoot issues. That means you, it results in like constant firefighting and frustrated teams. So traditional monitoring tools rely only on the visibility into one aspect of your system. So for example, metrics will indicate that something's wrong, but a lack of details. Traces can point to a general area. So traces from your application source code, for example, but they're not specific enough. And then UX tools lack the integration with the backend data. So if you can say like your user says, hey, when I run this search on the website, it's slow, it's often difficult to understand like what happens when it hits the API and then when the API calls the database, how does that response get back into the front end? And then finally, logs might have rich detail, but often the volumes are very high and then they're very in quality. So you might end up with like a needle in the haystack problem. So you, you know that your data is in there, but finding the right query to get at the data in aggregate becomes difficult. Now, Datadog provides a unified software as a service observability platform that addresses the unique challenges of modern software applications. So we collect all types of observability and make them available in a single application. And that includes like metrics, traces, logs, user activity, database monitoring. And we've got over 500 pre-built integrations. So it's easy to get end-to-end -end visibility no matter what you're using in your stack. And we'll talk about that a little bit because SQL Server can be deployed in a lot of locations. But with Datadog, your teams have a single source of truth, so they don't need to switch context when they're troubleshooting issues. So for example, if you found an important log from one service, and then you go to look at the traces, what we allow you to do is keep that context as you pivot between different areas or different aspects of the products. And our machine learning based alerts help you automatically detect issues you didn't even know to look for and resolve them quickly. So for example, in the database monitoring area, if you get like an explain plan that's changed over time, it's good to be able to compare that one that you've got today versus the one before, just to see if something on the database backend changed. Maybe you've changed like SQL Server versions, for example, just to see what's actually happening to your query now that you move between versions. And finally, with our collaboration and workflow integrations, Datadog has you covered no matter how your team operates. Before we dive into the DBM side, so if you're in the Windows ecosystem, which is pretty common, uh, I just wanted to go over quickly some of the integrations that we've got on the Datadog side, all the way up to sort of like the infrastructure level. So if you're monitoring your database from like the networking side, the cloud side, the infra side, that's like a CPU, memory, disk, that kind of thing, we've got you covered. So what we can do is allow you to collect real-time metrics and logs from all, or most, sorry, Azure manages devices. So like all the things that you've got deployed in your cloud already, we can help you with. And Datadog, you can go beyond Azure and AKS to monitor all of the services in your application backend. So for example, we've got a few piling through here in the screen, but basically if you're running SQL Server as well as Postgres, as well as something like Front Door, we've got you covered. So we provide dozens out of, out of the box integrations, including those popular services like maybe Cosmos DB, uh, SQL Server, as we talked about Azure Functions, Azure App Services. And we automatically collect health metrics and diagnostic logs about each service from Azure if you're in that cloud. And with our pre-built dashboards, you can start visualizing your application's health and performance in minutes. Now, for developers and operators, this means that you can quickly identify those root causes that we were talking about before. And now it's easier than ever to get started with Datadog for Azure. So recently we announced a partnership between Datadog and Azure to allow you to sign up for Datadog in the Azure portal. Now, if you're already a Datadog client and you're already on Azure and you've already got them integrated, sometimes what I found is that this can be pretty handy if you're still pretty new with it in order to set up something like SQL Server or if you want to move to a new region, say US3 instead of US1, which we'll get to in a bit, 
this can be a nice little integration because it's a one click that creates the Datadog account as well as the SSO, so you can kind of get both. Datadog Database Monitoring, or DBM, provides visibility into SQL queries running on your databases. So these are the queries that I would be running, for example. So instead of like running the script and then checking something, putting it into Excel spreadsheet and then looking at it later, what we can do is you can troubleshoot the database performance uh, issues by drilling into those frequently used queries and analyzing historical trends in your queries metrics and execution plans. So whether you run self-hosted SQL servers, Azure SQL database or Azure, Azure SQL managed instances, DBM can provide deep visibility into the database your applications depend on. But in case you've yet to come across SQL Server in the wild, it's a relationship, sorry, it's a rational database system developed by Microsoft that uses an extension of SQL called Transact SQL for its queries. Now, this is important because using T-SQL, you can write queries that SQL Server will automatically compile and cache as execution plans in order to minimize latency. So I can play this video a little bit uh, again here. It, it went kind of fast, but with DBM, you can sort your queries by average latency and drill into slow queries and expect recent trends in their performance. So if a query begins to execute more slowly without an obvious reason, remember I was doing those spot checks as you weren't wrong, it was hard for me to tell like what changed. It may be experiencing something called plan regression, which was new to me at the time. It, it's something that I had to learn. And by selecting a query type, Sorry, a query in DBM, you can compare its execution plans over time to identify potential regressions and the most cost effective plan to reduce that execution latency. So, like I mentioned, as I was moving between database engine versions, a lot of times I'd be doing like straight migrations or straight upgrades, and maybe the operating system, maybe the database engine, but not looking at the, the functional level of the database engine itself. So, some of that was kind of new to me at the time. Now, after expecting a, a query's execution plan, you can navigate to the metrics tab to visualize trends and performance and resource usage. And we'll, we'll demo that here in a second. So, for example, DBM provides visibility need to each query's memory grant usage. So that's the memory used to reserve and store temporary data for workspace queries. Now, if you notice large disparities between a query's received memory grant and used memory grant, the query may be reserving more memory than it needs and putting your database at risk of memory pressure, which you've probably seen before, I, I certainly have. And as a result, your database may experience abnormally long wait queues and maybe decrease concern concurrency. So that means like uh, fewer people can do many things at once. So it means that you can only handle like so many sessions at a time. A lot of people will talk about transactions. We'll, we'll talk about queries here because some queries aren't transactional, some are. This is one of those brand those are things that kind of sticks in my mind. But by visualizing, sorry, visualizing your database's memory metrics with DBM, you can decide if you need to enable like memory grant feedback, for example, which will allow SQL Server to automatically adjust your memory grant configurations based on past query performance. And to detect performance issues, you can use your SQL Server integration to create monitors tracking the number of queries in queue for memory grant allocation. So you can also configure an anomaly monitor that would identify if there's a query that begins to take an abnormally long time to execute. In addition to the query level insights, so when we're looking like sort of top down, you can also get uh, the, the SQL Server integration will also get you like higher level visibility into your database's health and performance. So we've got an out of box dashboard that I'll show in a moment here that will help you visualize the metrics such as connections, system memory, and throughput. So kind of those like those let's metrics, the four golden singles, which we'll also cover in a second. And then from there, you can quickly pivot in, into DVM in order to get deeper insights. So for example, looking at the queries uh, running on hosts, they ex ex exhibit a high resource utilization. So let's say, for example, you're looking at the queries on mass, so all the queries running on all your database engines. And what you want to find out is like this query seems to be taking a bunch of time. There's like a large IO wait, or there's a bunch of locks, blocking locks. Uh, how do I figure out which servers those are running on instead of going into the server room just on plugging the power cable, plug it back in and using hope as a strategy? What does that look like? How do we drill into all of these? So Azure database for MySQL and Postgres as well are fully managed database services that feature built-in security controls, automated maintenance, and a wide range of additional platform features. So not only SQL Server, but also MySQL and Postgres as well. And by monitoring your Azure managed databases with data DPM, you can troubleshoot inefficient queries and errors to ensure that your databases continue to run smoothly. 